There were only a few 3D modeling software in recent years that have generated the level of attention and enthusiasm that Blender has, especially following the introduction of its 2.8 version a few years ago, which took the software to new heights. But how does it compare to Moi 3D? A 3D software that has firmly established itself in the market, with entirely different foundation compared to Blender. So if you are interested in the software, in this video we will see how they differ and the common ground between these two software. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Here is what's interesting to understand. These two programs are fundamentally different. Blender, as many of you might already know, is a versatile and free 3D package that is designed to handle every single aspect of 3D production from rigging, animation, rendering, simulation, and so on, and without a doubt, polygonal-based modeling. Okay, but what about Moi 3D? As it is known, it is a very interesting software to say the least. You see, the concept behind it is absolutely fascinating. It serves as a one-time purchase, artist-friendly, mostly CAD software, which by the way, stands for computer-aided design. Typically, CAD is used in fields like engineering and product manufacturing. However, Moi 3D takes a totally different approach, as it offers a simplified interface and creative NURBS modeling tools. This is the case to give artists the incredible power of CAD, and if you are an artist, it will allow you, for example, to design mind-blowing hard surface concepts or stunning assets for VFX productions, or maybe video games as well. Before we continue, if you want to learn animation in Blender, one of the best places to start is the 2Animate Animation Course. If you are a beginner, you don't have to worry about it, because the course is divided into beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels, so you can take away the best knowledge for your current level and learn at the pace that you are comfortable with. You will learn how to create amazing animation shots that help you stand out with 70 plus animation lessons updated on a continual basis in addition to dialogue clips, feature quality rigs and assets, community access, and technical assistance. So if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. So the idea is they offer two different approaches to modeling. Computer-aided design is great for engineering and stuff, no question about that, but what we are trying to figure out is which one of these two approaches is better for 3D artists. Realistically speaking, it is a bit of both, but why is that? The polygonal modeling approach in Blender is a method for creating 3D objects by representing them as a collection of interconnected flat surfaces that we call polygons, which are typically triangles or squares. They are comprised of faces, edges, and vertices. What's more, by manipulating these, we can, in theory, create anything we desire. For example, you can pick an edge or a vertex of a shape to smooth it with a bevel or extending a face with extrusion and adding a hold using the boolean operation. Moi 3D, on the other hand, similar to many CAD software, relies on NURBS as its foundation, which in turn is based on curves as their foundation. To break it down, it takes and creates 2D lines such as circles, arcs, or any imaginable 2D shape, then by using various CAD methods, such as lofting for example, where we can smoothly connect these different 2D forms to transform them into a 3D model. This process is enhanced further by direct modeling techniques, such as booleans or bevels, to adjust the created shapes. By the way, what's also powerful about Moi 3D is how easy it is to modify and edit these designs with the Freedom Surface Modeling workflow. For example, to create and manipulate organic and irregular shapes with ease. Now, you might be curious whether this difference truly matters. Well, in fact, it does. To elaborate, the difference lies in how NURBS rely on mathematical functions, while in Blender, the level of detail is determined by the number of polygons in the mesh. This means that NURBS allow for infinite level of detail and zooming in and out without restrictions Whereas polygonal modeling, you will get as much details as you can add. But using a smoothing modifier that exists in many 3D software allows you to smooth things out even if you don't have a lot of polygons and vertices. To add more details, you can use operations like boolean to combine or cut shapes. 
as well as applying bevels to smooth edges, which can sometimes lead to issues with the 3D model, especially if it is an already a detailed one, with vertices overlapping with each other, shading problems in curved areas, and distortions and sharp lines in flat surfaces, which would require a lot of cleaning and optimization to fix it. On the other hand, with Norm's modeling, we can conveniently modify anything without causing any damage by manipulating the control points, which offers a precise and a high level of control over curves and shapes. But please keep in mind, this is just a general observation, and it all depends on the skill level of the polygonal modeling artist. In a more general sense, in Blender, we must respect the rules which are dedicated to us by topology, by considering how the vertices, edges, and faces are connected together, and working around it to maintain a clean mesh. It seems like a lot of work, but it is extremely rewarding if you work in game development, animation, or VFX. And Blender is the type of software that is used by these artists to create amazing projects in these fields. So, the thing in this topic is that there is no definitive winner, as each tool has its unique advantages. Starting off with Blender, that comes with powerful sculpting features such as the Smooth, Inflate, or the Pinch Brush, which are ideal for creating organic assets, things like characters, environment objects, props, or even stylized props. And this allows Blender to create amazing stuff and a wider range of objects compared to more 3D, which is kind of limited to only CAD design. Additionally, Blender has procedural modeling, which is a different approach that is possible by combining what is known as nodes to create a node tree. What's worth mentioning is that this method is also based on math, which bypasses some of the polygonal limitations of the software, and it makes it easy to adjust our projects by just changing the values in the nodes. However, this workflow is much more limited in comparison and it is harder to have the same level of freedom as manual modeling, but it can be another fun alternative to try. As for Moi 3D, in addition to what we already talked about, it is an easier way for the creation of concept designs as well as engineering and manufacturing purposes, as it offers higher precision and accuracy. Meaning for concept artists or those that are fans of 3D printing, I find Moi's 3D's focus on nerves modeling to be an excellent choice for this type of work. Now back to Blender, the software can be a bit restrictive for the creation of highly complex mechanical assets. That's why like any 3D package, you will need support from third-party add-ons, which is necessary to achieve an efficient modeling experience. But let me tell you, Blender's hard service modeling add-ons are some of the best out there because they are just amazing. For example, Mesh Machine, which comes with a gigantic collection of automatic optimization tools, such as Boolean cleanup features to eliminate the angons, and other tools such as Offset Cut to bypass the limitations of geometry and to achieve cut-like bevels without caring about polygons. Other interesting add-ons include Hard Ops and Box Cutter, which come from the same developer. We also have many add-ons such as Fluent and many, many others that we created videos about, if you want to check those. On the other hand, it is worth noting that practically all game engines such as Unreal Engine and Unity, along with popular 3D software, rely on polygons. This implies that in order for more 3D models to work in conjunction with these ecosystems, they have to be converted to polygons, which is possible within the software. But it is also important to note that these converted models often contain substantial number of angons, which are faces with more than 5 vertices, and cleaning these parts require for the assets to be optimized. And Moi 3D offers the ability to export the assets without angons, but they won't be as clean, because working on it manually is more recommended. In contrast, the great thing about polygonal software such as Blender is that we can manage stuff on bevels and bullying, as well as cleaning the topology as we work, avoid the maximum amount of angons as possible. Now, in terms of which one is better, I think it depends on how complex the asset is and what you want to do with it. And I would say if you are a 3D artist, you can use Moi 3D to a certain extent in combination with Blender to do some interesting stuff. But if you are purely a designer who are working on concept designs and product designs and so on, then I would recommend Moi 3D because it was created for this purpose in the first place. Again, 
if you are a 3D artist, Blender now has almost everything, so you can do amazing stuff with it. Especially in combination with add-ons, your sky is the limit. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.